guys, how's it going? It's Al. Week two on DraftKings is here. And on this video, we're going to talk about the Rainmakers project and the, the NFT project that is sweeping the world by storm. Well, maybe not the world, but there are people on DraftKings who play on DraftKings who really like it. If you have not dipped your toe into the Rainmakers pool just yet, it is a game that is very much like, let's say, FIFA Ultimate Team, Madden Ultimate Team, where you're going to get a collection of cards. You can get them by opening packs so you can buy them off of a marketplace. Then you can take those cards cards and play them in games against other people there are five different tiers there's the core tier rare elite legendary and rainmaker tier that have different qualifications different card levels that you need in order to participate in those tiers the one that is going to be populated by the most people it is also the lowest tier in terms of cost of entry is the core tier we're going to focus on basically all of them by going through the three superstars that i think are going to be optimal on this slate and Two players at every position, two quarterbacks, two running backs, and two wide receivers that are non-superstars that I think are going to be the most popular for this weekend's run of play. So, let's go! He's a legend. The Smith's Gang Listener League is up once again in week two. If you did not join in week one, you missed out because it filled right before lock. It is still at 4,000 entries. It is three entry max, so people can only enter it three times. $10 entry fee. 40,000 in prizes, 10% of that, $4,000 goes to first place, $400 to 10th place, and there's absolutely no rake. The single best tournament that exists on DraftKings, and it's not in the lobby. The only way to find it is to go through the links. There is one in the pinned comment right down below. There is one in the description right down below. And there's probably one right over there because producer Rosie is great at her job. And it tells you to go to smizzle.tv slash links where you can find the link to the Listener League and everything else that I do. All my socials, the charity that's right below us here, and everything else, Best Buys, is all in the link tree so smizzle.tv slash links will take you there make sure that you join the listener league right here we have the payout arc this is a little bit small you might want to pause the video i understand week one uh was going to be a double prize week they had two million dollars in prizes so the prizes get a little bit smaller this week there's a million dollars 1.1 million dollars up for grabs a uh, hundred thousand of it on thursday night football showdown another hundred thousand on sunday night football there is a two game slate on monday night we're not going to talk about that uh, i'm focusing on the classic slate because that's the biggest slate seven hundred thousand dollars in prizes across all tiers and games for the classic sunday slate so definitely focus on that one that's where the biggest prizes are and the best game selection is but there's a two game classic slate it's not going to be a showdown slate on uh monday night football so that's where you want to kind of shift your attention to as far as that's concerned if you wanted to be a part of our token lock discord where all of my market advice does exist that is locked behind the smiz gang hq key that link for that is also in smizzle.tv slash links or you can go to smizzle.tv slash hq and it will take you there only use my links there will probably be fake ones like this up on OpenSea, and i don't want you getting falling for any other sort of ruse you have to have this one it is under smizzle.tv slash hq that link is also available in smizzle.tv slash links then you join the discord and you'll be surrounded by a community of folks that are living breathing and talking about rainmakers all day long as well as my market advice for where and how i think you should best get involved because what most people ignore about Rainmakers is it's not a DFS game. It's a market game that has DFS games attached to it. And that money is bonus money because the most money you're going to make in this is by working the market. Let's talk about the top three captains on the week. So you can only play one of them in a lineup. You cannot play them down a tier. So if you have a Cooper Cup that is at the Rainmakers tier, you can only play that in Rainmakers games. You cannot play that. Uh, sorry, you can't play them up a tier. You can play them down. If you don't have, if you have a legendary, you cannot play it up in the Rainmaker tier. And anybody that has a Cooper Cup is going to do their darndest to try and build a lineup around it. He does project as the highest uh, projectable player on the slate from not just a median standpoint, but a ceiling as well. DraftKings scoring is so super hyper favorable to Cooper Cup and what he does as a player that building your lineups around him this week is A, going to be really popular. People are going to want to do it. It is a little bit price restrictive as his cards are a little bit more expensive than some other cards at those tiers. You can see the core. There's different cards, right? There's a Genesis core. There's the Field Pass promo core. There's the Superstar set. They all score the exact same. It's a question I've gotten a ton. Well, like, does the rare Cooper Cup score any differently than a core Cooper Cup? It does not. 
It just means that only one of those can play there, and they might have certain games for the different cards. Like the Genesis cards, I think in week two or three are gonna have specific games for Genesis cards only or a minimum amount of Genesis cards. So some games might be locked behind you building a lineup around certain sets, like the, the Genesis set or the Elevate set or whatever. But in terms of in-game performance for those cards, they all score the same. So we're looking at what, like a $20, $21 for a Cooper Cup. You can start your lineups there if you're a core player. You don't have to have him. You could also go with Jonathan Taylor if you wanted to use your running back slot. Remember, classic lineups are one quarterback, one running back, a wide receiver, a wide receiver slash tight end, and then a flex that can include a kicker or a defense or whatever cards you need to fill out that lineup. You don't have to play the optimal lineup, right? You can go off the reservation and play these like tournaments, or you can say, you know what, I'm going to try and stack the optimal plays and make sure that I get into the cash. Uh, and these cards are playable week over week. So if you bought a Jonathan Taylor before week one, you still have that card in your DraftKings wallet and can then play it in week two and in week three and in week four. There are no entry fees to any of these tournaments that exist in the Rainmakers lobbies for core, rare, elite, legendary, or beyond. So here's the prices on the Jonathan Taylors. You can see his prices are very similar at the core tier. $20 for a core here, $27 for this one, depending on what set you want to buy. The different sets like Genesis get you more in franchise score than the other ones, but it's not a total necessary thing that you need to go for. Uh, they do giveaways. DraftKings takes snapshots. And if you have a certain franchise score, I think today people got uh, packs for depending on where you were. I think I was 39th in franchise score overall in Rainmaker. So I get a legendary pack it's valued at $2,000. So like it's a nice little give back to hold the cards. They, they do incentivize you and where you are in the top 500 will most likely reflect what tier you're playing at. But this is the prices of all the different tiers for Jonathan Taylor. His rare, let's see, 90 for this one is the floor on that one, 91. So about 90 to $100 for Jonathan Taylor if you're playing rare. Let's see, the Cooper Cup, 168 for him. So a lot more expensive, 110 for a rare there, 110. So about 110 is the rare floor at that point. Somewhat similar, a little bit cheaper for Jonathan Taylor. You're going to give up a couple of points in terms of uh, optimal, but Jonathan Taylor can definitely score as many points or outscore Cooper Cup on any given week. The last superstar in terms of who I think are the optimals this week would be Devontae Adams, a ridiculous, like he had like a 48% target market share. Uh, in week one, he had the most air yards in week one. His core cards are still around $17.99 here, $20 here. As you move up in tiers, obviously they get more expensive and tougher to get because there's less of them out there. But everybody's entry point for this game who just wants to dip their toe is core. And people ask me, how much is it going to cost me to get in and build a lineup? Well, your cornerstone guy, your superstar right now is about 20 bucks. It ain't that price restrictive to get in. We're doing a fundraiser for No Kid Hungry. You see the bar right below me. Uh, I will shout you out on stream whenever you donate to this. Smizzle.tv slash charity. That link also exists in the link tree at smizzle.tv slash links. No Kid Hungry provides school breakfasts and lunches to food insecure kids across the country. If you have enough money in your pocket to play Daily Fantasy, if you enjoy the content, if you're playing Rainmakers this year, every dollar helps. If you donate a dollar, if you donate $5, or if you can afford to give more, that's awesome too. Help us get to this goal of $100,000 on the year. And realistically speaking, our community raised $35,000 last year. I bumped it to $50,000 this year. And every $10,000 that the community raises, that means you, you are part of this community if you're watching this on YouTube. Every $10,000 that the community raises, I will match with $10,000 of my own. So if our community raises $50,000, I will donate $50,000 to No Kid Hungry. So be a part of something bigger than yourself and let's help out food insecure kids across America this fantasy football season. Let's do something worthwhile with our time. Going to our first quarterback. Now we're getting into the non-superstar players at this point. Non-superstar players can play up a tier. So if you're building a rare lineup, let's say you've built to that point, you can move Kyler Murray up to the rare tier. So like if we were to look at this particular Kyler Murray card, these are like $20. See where it says here? no superstar he can be moved so you can play him in rare tier if you have a rare kyler murray you could play him up in elite if you have an elite kyler murray you could play him up if you have a legendary lineup uh, enough players to construct a legendary lineup and if you have a legendary he can play up in the rainmakers tier so that's the the power of the non-superstar cards 
Uh, Kyler Murray, one of the two quarterbacks on this video uh, that we wanted to talk about. His projection right now is around 20 to 23 uh, on median. He's got a ceiling of over 30 as he is, you know, we've seen him do that. Hopefully, hopefully he can achieve it considering that, you know, the Call of Duty beta is coming out this weekend. And I'm not saying that causation, you know, correlation equals causation. See there, Stanky Munoz with $20 donated to the kids. Thank you very much, Stanky Munoz. I really appreciate the $20 donated to charity so hopefully kyler murray can put down the sticks long enough to do his work and get the job done as they are in a kind of a tasty spot this weekend in terms of matchup they have one of the higher totals totals on the week they square off against the raiders defense they are four and a half point underdogs when every team plays from nine they pass more uh we know that kyler murray certainly falls into that boat we saw it the in week one in the second half as they were trailing massively this game should be a lot more competitive and the cornerback situation that's on the Raiders is just dreadful right now. So more likely that he could have some big play upside here with the offense. The other quarterback, as I get to the other quarterback, is going to be Joe Burrow. You know him, you love him, Joe Cool. He's going to throw the ball all the freaking time. And look, they had a tough go of it in week one and he's still into the day with like 30 DraftKings points. This week they face off against the Cowboys, six and a half point favorites on the road in Jerryville and against a team that could struggle offensively with Cooper Rush at quarterback instead of Dak Prescott. Maybe the Cowboys surprise. Maybe that offense is extremely efficient with the backup quarterback. We know historically that it's been much better with Dak Prescott under center during his career than anybody else that's been under center in his career. The Joe Burrow pricing is a bit higher than Kyler Murray. We have close to like $23. Ah, you get one for 19 so we're at like $40 right now for a superstar and a quarterback. And typically speaking, the prices go down when you get to running backs or wide receivers. The optimal plays, though, will probably be at that point. So get in where you fit in on your Joe Burrow cards for this week as he projects uh, basically the same as does Kyler Murray. Moving to running backs, we have Joe Mixon from the same team. A favored running back against a defense that could get shredded. Mixon cards at core. I see one for $17.50 here, $16 here. Uh, we're probably looking at about $90 to build the optimal lineup. Now, you can get much cheaper if you want to build off the optimal, but an optimal core lineup in week one is looking like it's going to cost about 90 bucks, which ain't that bad considering that you're going to get multiple weeks of usage out of that. And so many of the lineups that get put in are not really good at all. Like people are just scrap, just scratching lineups together, trying to spend as little as possible and make uh, big time money. So like if you play an optimal, you are definitely going to have a better chance to cash. If you're still watching at this point in the video, make sure that you drop a like on the video. I'd greatly appreciate it. Make sure that you click the subscribe button on this fantasy football channel. I'm going to come out with videos six days a week, and I don't want you to miss any of them. So make sure that you click the notifications button and leave those notifications on for you. So every time I come out with a new video between this and the main channel, we're going to have like 14 videos on YouTube a week. It's a lot. I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you for the support during the off season and during this NFL season. Our next running back, Saquon Barkley. Monster game. Monster game in week one. His prices actually like really reflected that as well right now on the market. You saw there was a, a Joe Mixon for like $17, 28, 29, 35 right now for the core cards. Uh 26. You got to pay up to get Barkley if you want him. He is an optimal, but his score is essentially the same on median projection and ceiling as Joe Mixon. But because Barkley, A, he's a bigger name than Joe Mixon, more people like him, they're used to him being the RB1, and people are more cross-armed when it comes to Joe Mixon, that they don't really ever get really excited to play, uh, to play a guy like that. You can pay down in terms of popularity of a player that has essentially the same projection in a 1v1 situation, right? Like Barkley has the same projection as Mixon, but like his prices are... $10 higher per card. I'd probably opt for Mixon if I was trying to get myself in a position to play this week with an optimal lineup for the least amount of cost. You can clearly get cheaper running backs, right? You don't have to pay $17 for a running back card. I'm sure you can find one for like eight bucks. That's just fine at the core range. But for this video, we're focusing on the optimals only. So Barkley is going to pop in that. And especially because of how talented he is. One at big plays, uh, you know he can win you a GPP all by himself. And... Uh, he's got a really high floor because of his consistent usage in the passing game and the horrible talent that they have right now in the New York passing game because of injuries and doghouse visits currently for everybody that they have on the roster. Very encouraging the usage that we saw out of Tyreek Hill in week one. Uh, all the trepidation that people might have had and hand-wringing over the 
Some are about, well, can Tua get him the ball? Like, he's going to get him the ball. Tyreek Hill is the number one non-superstar wide receiver on the main slate this week. There are better ones. Uh, Steph Diggs uh, is right there with him, who's a non-superstar who can move up classes from core to rare, from rare to elite. You can see the prices on uh, Tyreek Hill reflecting that, right? Like, he is a very, very powerful card right now. Overall, in Rainmakers, and specifically for Week 2, as he is the highest projected player on ceiling and median projection that's not a superstar and can move up. So you could get cheaper than this. You can find a, a better volume play if you want. Like Christian Kirk is going to be very cheap. Zay Jones is dirt cheap, but they don't project the same way and don't project ever to break a slate in the same way or as frequently as somebody like Tyreek Hill. And our last player on the list was very popular in week one, remains popular here in week two is Michael Pittman Jr., but you can see the difference in prices, at least $10 cheaper at the core tier, down to $16, $17 a card. These cards are useful, uh, useful in multiple weeks. There are no entry fees on these tournaments. So build a lineup at whatever tier you want to get in. My last piece of advice, if you're starting at the core tier, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But spend your time at the core tier, gaining fluency in the market. Join us in the HQ if you wanted to find people to bounce ideas off of. And you should be working to get up to the rare tier as best you can through the games, through markets, and through uh, the gift packs that they continually give out for tournaments and for holding the cards. That's all we got for you. Look out for another video right there. He's a legend.